let's go back to football very quickly. Uh, Toby was in Enugu. Let's let's start from there and uh, talk about Rivers United. They have won the 2016 um, MPFL Super Four. Um, they beat um, their opponents Wiki 1 0 yep. in their final group game to top with six points. Look at this. Guy, the Ivorian. Beautiful goal. No. The, 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 what, was that, what was that defender thinking? <laughs> I mean, uh, just um, <laughs> it, 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 a very costly error from, from the Wiki defender. And then, you know, Guy, very, very potent, very, very. You know, practice, is, is, this justification, is this justification for how Rivers United have recruited? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree because you look at the inclusion. I mean, they bought the best two wing back in the MPFL. Uh, Iweke at the right back, Gabriel Wasa at the left back. I don't remember there's Inzube in goal, there's Femi Thomas, Ibrahim Mustafa going, go, going forward for them. I mean, they recruited well. I mean, that's why I've been decent. Guy, we saw what, 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 what he did last season, you know, uh, combining with Bernardo Voke. They said the company was a player, Guy, Bernardo Voke also. So, I mean, good preparation for that. They lost their first game to Rangers International. They bounced back in, in, in the second game. You know, um, Gareth Carter against FC Fire but they still won two goals not in the last game against a decent week on side and they managed to score that defender and they went, and after, they after he gave the ball away he was trying to catch the Rivers United player with his hands oh, yeah. that's a very comical uh, <laughs> maybe but, but it's deserved deserved victory they are on their way to Spain we talked about the way they have gone about their pre-season it's very impressive and I mean, this is some motivation for, for Rivers United yeah uh, everything is going on well for them you know they started very early um, they, 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 they have played you know preseason games around the country uh, I think the last one was uh, before this tournament was the Shehudiko in Kaduna in, in Kaduna you know and um, like Toby said they have recruited very very well and they are off to Spain and uh, you know I, I like the mentality of the coach I read some of uh, his comments and uh, you know he, he particularly said um, that all the teams that played in the Super 4 last season you know are not in the Super 4 this season so what 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 he, he showed was that um, they have to learn from their mistakes and um, you know uh, the, the, the the way he has gone about it this this season, I, I want to I want to you know believe that they're on the right tracks. Um, the, the the players have to continue to improve because they, they are going to play in the CAF Champions League and they are playing against the best on the African continent. We wish them all the best. Um, they're going to Spain, uh, play a couple of friendlies there too, and come back and um, hopefully see what they have uh, to offer next season. Mm. Let, let's talk about uh, Rangers. Um, should they, should they be feeling, well, Rivers United are going to be on the CAF Champions League, yep. just like Rangers. Mm -hmm. Rangers felt um, that they had the Super 4 under control, but mm -hmm. um, their last game against Ifan Yuba, the only point of the, of the game for Ifan Yuba, yep. who we were told, have, uh, told their Japanese coach to, to take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Wow, beautiful goal. Yeah, yeah beautiful goal from um, Gordon Aguda. You know, uh, I mean, they scored this goal and they thought you know, it was going to be very easy for and them. And you can see celebration already, they felt that you know, was... They, they thought, you know, all they needed going into this game was a maximum three points and they will finish seven points. And then about one point, I, 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 um, I had a reverse United. It doesn't happen. FC Fire, but you know, like, like we said, they lost the first two games. They really want to prove a point. And I mean, they got the equalizer through Jim O'Neill. The, the, the back of Rangers collapsed and Jim O'Neill capitalized on that. Mm. And, you know, uh, Imane Daniel was clueless to, 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 to save that one. So, I mean, like you also mentioned the fact that the Japanese coach was asked to step aside. So, it was, wasn't in charge of the last weeks. game? Yeah, it wasn't in charge. It was, it was a, Ghanaian assist, a Ghanaian coach, your preco, your, your preco. You know, which, who came with the, the Japanese coach. For me, I said, in my own opinion, I think I was disappointed in, in, in the decision. I mean, just, in, just the, man, the manager was in charge for just two weeks. Lost the first two games. It's all about precision. Like Mama said, if you are sacking coaches during precision, during the precision then, uh, what, what, you know, I don't I mean, is, that, is that a good sign? Well, well <laughs> you know, it, it's difficult for you to tell him about what to do with his money. Yeah, yeah. You, you, is you, the you, man in charge? You look at um, you look at the the, the 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 trends in this team. You look at the turnover of coaches. Of coaches. about mm. five coaches in uh, less than two seasons. And um, well, uh, in the first place, why do you have to uh, allow? The man that uh, won the Federation Cup, that's Rafael Ever Everton, to leave, and uh, you got the Japanese. They said communication. They said com communication. What does that mean? Like then communication they, and they won the Federation then Cup. In the, in the second game they played in this Super Four, there were reports that um, there was um, disagreement between Mitko Drobrev. Who was on the bench? Who was on the bench? Yeah, I was. Yeah, so, so, there's a lot of domestic issues at Ivers. I beg your pardon, I've seen but I really don't understand. Dobrev, according to them, is the technical director. Dobrev should not be sitting on the bench. Mm. Do, do Too should many not, cooks. And Dobrev should not be taking and, notes. And, and, and on the bench, <laughs> Dobrev doesn't get involved in games. It is a Japanese coach and Preko, they have a lot. I mean, 
Dobra should not be mm. sitting on the bench and started making comments against his coach. Okay, let, let, let's, let's, uh, let, let's leave that issue. Because if we want to go on that way, we will not wrap up the show tonight. But, but it's really worrying for us because um, if I'm Yuba, no longer just if I'm Yuba of, uh, of Anambra State, they are representing Nigeria and, uh, in the, in the CAF Conditions Cup, and we want to see better uh, from them in terms of stability and in terms of the quality of football that they will play. So we want to urge them to please um, don't be a one coach per week uh, club. <laughs> um, let there be some stability in the interest of. Uh, Nigeria that you'll be representing. But it's, it's working for them. They want the FICO. Okay. All right. Let, let's, let's move and talk about Sunshine very quickly. Gentlemen, um, there was another preseason tournament that ended in Lagos, the Southwest tournament. Sunshine uh, beat uh, 3SC, uh, beat Real Monsters, yeah. beat MFM to win that one. And uh, it's good. They're happy. It's, um, they've lost a lot of their top players, mm. but they have recruited well and they believe they, can, they are ready for the season. I mean, they can take motivation from here. Like, you know, Sonja South founded in the, in the early 90s, haven't won a major title for, for, for a while. I mean, they, they can, like I said, they can take it as, as, as a motivation going into the new season. They've lost most of their key players, I mean, and they've recruited well. And you look at the tone of the management to ensure that they have a manager uh, that is originated from, from, from the state. It's also a good one for them. Let's see what they'll bring to the table. I mean, they won the, the, all their three games against 3 SMFM MFM, and Ramos. This is a decent side. Mm. And they, they are getting ready to play the first game against Ayimba in Calabar, you know, um, in the second week of January, hopefully. But I, I think um, the, the management and also Tekako has done a good job in putting up these quality players together. I mean, they've got a decent team in as much as many players has left. So uh, we just hope that everything works for them in the new season and then mm. uh, they can achieve more than what they have they've achieved in the previous season. Mm. Oh, yeah, their first game is going to be against Enyimba. Um, the news is that Enyimba will be playing their home games next season uh, at the UG SNS Stadium in Calabar. Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, Rangers, the defending champions, will be starting their title defense against Abia Warriors. Yeah. The fixtures are out uh, mm -hmm. for the league management company. The only thing we're waiting for is now the kick-up dates. But, mm -hmm. but it's, 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 it's um, all good. Second week of January, we're told. And we hope um, second week of January will be second week of January. Yeah. I think for Sunshine, that is a big test. You know, um, they, they, they have done well by you know, doing so well in the preseason. And Tony, by the way, I, I think it's a good development for our league. We, we are getting a lot of uh, preseason tournaments being played around the country. So I, I think um, the teams should avail themselves of that opportunity. So for Sunshine Stars, um, all the preparations, everything they have done, you know, will come to a test against uh, Enyimba and Calabar. So uh, by, by the time we see, we see that first game, they will be able to situate things properly. Mm. But I, I think we want to commend the management for what they have done for winning the Southwest uh, preseason tournament. Mm. All right, let, let's, let's um, go on a break uh, now. Um, okay, okay, I'm told that we can, we, we still have a few uh, minutes to wrap up the show. So let's just quickly um, end with um, some stories on the international scene. The FA Champions League draw um, is out. Let's talk about it very quickly. Let's see um, the fixtures um, um, for this round. Uh, Eye-catching games, uh, guys. I don't know what you feel about it, but let, let's just take a look at the fixtures for the round of 16, uh, the draw uh, uh, on the show. Arsenal uh, against Bayern, Manchester City against Monaco, uh, Real Madrid against Napoli, Benfica against Borussia Dortmund, FC Porto against Juventus. Uh, some of the fixtures in the round of 16. Um, of course, uh, um, let, let's see the other fixtures uh, of the round of 16 um, as well. Guys, your comments very quickly on this one. Well, to, to, uh, I mean, the, the talking point here is um, Arsenal against uh, Bayern Munich. It doesn't come that uh, bigger. Um, Arsenal are doing so well this season. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think they have, they have strength in depth. Um, mm -hmm. they, they, they have solved their defensive uh, frailties. Uh, against Bayern, the Bayern two are, are struggling. Uh, they, they have contrasting fortunes. Um, they, they just came back to the top of the Bundesliga the, mm. the, the last weekend. So um, I think Arsenal fans will be wishing that uh, the, the match be played today or tomorrow. Okay. But February is still a, a long way. And All right. Well, I'm told we have to close now, but we we'll leave you with that as we wrap up uh, the show this Monday. We'll be back tomorrow with a bigger and a better one. Enjoy the rest of the night. Bye bye now.